Item number two in your repair system is resin. There is a tremendous amount of science behind the design of windshield repair resins. In general terms, repair resin is used to fill the damaged void in the glass. It should have the same refractive index as the glass, and it should be strong enough to restore the original strength of the windshield. Superglues, nail polishes, and the like cannot do this. And many so-called windshield repair resins cannot do this. Why? If you recall in natural forces and elements, ultraviolet light is used to cure the resin. However, repair resins have a specific cure point or UV wavelength that allows the resin to be completely cured or hardened. If the resin does not meet that ultraviolet wavelength specification, it may not cure completely and this can lead to failed repairs. Closely related to this UV wavelength specification is the actual strength of the resin. Quality repair resins such as those provided by Glassweld are tested for tensile strength. Tensile strength as related to windshield repair is defined by both cohesive and adhesive ability. Cohesive strength is the ability of the resin to hold itself together while under stress. Adhesive strength is the ability of the resin to actually stick or bond to the glass. These abilities, both cohesive and adhesive strengths, need to be high enough so the repair maintains integrity over the life of the windshield. And remember, there is a tremendous amount of stress placed on a windshield due to flexing and heating and cooling cycles. The resin must be able to withstand this stress. Glassweld resins have been designed to withstand these extreme conditions. One component of the windshield that will affect your resin selection is the so-called tint band at the top of the windshield. This tint band is different from a tinted windshield. When the tint is in the windshield itself, the tint is actually a part of the glass. If the damage occurs outside of the tint band, the color of resin that you choose really doesn't matter. This is because the vast majority of the tinted glass is still present in the damage. Therefore, the tint is still in the damage. But when repairing in the upper tint band of the windshield, as we discovered earlier, the tint is actually in the interlayer material. When damage occurs, this interlayer is exposed to air and moisture. If this damage is in the tint band, the tinted interlayer is now exposed, and this exposure can discolor or fade the tint band. Choosing a tinted resin, such as green or blue, will put some of the color in the repaired area of the tint band, so the damage becomes less visible. There are other tinted resins used for even more reasons. For example, amber and gray tinted resins are designed to help hide cracks in damages. These colors help absorb some of the visible light spectrum that would normally reflect back out of the damage and become visible. Another aspect of resin selection is viscosity. Viscosity is a property of liquid that either resists or allows the liquid to flow. It is closely related to surface tension. For example, the thicker the resin, the harder it is for the resin to flow throughout the entire damage. Thicker viscosity resins, therefore, should be used in more open damages, such as a bullseye. Thinner viscosity resins flow more easily into damage. Therefore, thinner viscosity resins are good for the smaller spaces in tighter damage, such as a star break. However, there is a danger with thinner viscosity resin, flowering. Flowering does not affect the integrity of the repair. 
but it is visible. Whichever resin you choose to work with, be assured that glass weld resins are designed to be strong and as invisible as possible. There are more reasons to choose glass weld resins. For example, some resins can actually discolor over time. Some resins can ruin your injector's seals. To review, Glass weld resins have actually been designed to work with the G3 system. They are available in a variety of tints and viscosities, all designed for strength, visual appeal, and ease of use. If used correctly, glass weld resins will not fail, they will not discolor, they will not damage your equipment. The resin you choose to repair with depends on the type of damage, the glass temperature, and your skill as a repair technician. Glass weld resins have been designed to work with the Procure curing lamp. This lamp, as we will see in our next section, puts out the exact wavelength of UV light so the resin will completely cure. Resin selection is a critical component of any windshield repair. Therefore, glass weld resins are designed to make repairs easier, faster, and professional.